The Visa Bulletin exists because the US Department of State limits the number of green cards that can be issued each year, as the number of people seeking for a green card has consistently exceeded the annual limit, creating backlogs in the EV free and skill visa process. Stay until the end of this video because I'm going to show you how the Visa Bulletin works and how you can learn to read it. So guys, before explaining how the visa bulletin works and how to read it, let's understand what it means because it's very simple. The visa bulletin is a document that the US Department of State issues on a monthly basis, approximately on the 15th of each month, to inform about the availability of visas to those who have green cards applications pending. That is, for those who are doing the EV free and skilled visa, only in the the third stage of the process you will have to be aware of this document and for those in the US who are doing the adjustment of status you will have to be aware of this document in the second stage of the process I-140 so guys for you understand each fiscal year in the US from the 1st of October to the 30th of September of the following year approximately 366,000 green cards visas are issued in all categories being 140,000 for employment based visas that's mean visas is starting with the letters ev from those 140,000 only 40,000 are for ev free visa and those 40,000 only 10 thousand are for EV free and skill visa. There may be the case that the previous fiscal year not all the available visas are used so by the law the US department can increase the number from 10,000 visas for example to 15,000 or 20,000 for example. When in some category the annual demand for visas is greater than the availability of this a waiting list or backlog is created and the applicant's place in the queue is determined by his priority date, which is exactly the day when his labor certification or ETA 9089 was sent. As I am showing you in the screen, you can see my name, my sponsor name, the case number and also the priority date. If you are doing your process with an agency, this document is normally sent to you one or two months later after you make your first payment to the agency. I will leave a registration link with the agency that I'm doing my process with in the descriptions and in the comments below for whoever is interested. Just change the language to English at the top of the website. So guys, for you understand the priority date is very important. To give an example, it is like your date of birth. Once your priority day is after the day shown in the visa bulletin it means that there are visas available and the applicant will soon receive the interview at the embassy of his country of residence or will be able to apply for adjustment of status and now let's go straight away to my computer screen to learn how to read this document but first if this video is helping you press the like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification because i will be uploading more videos only about the EV free visa and if you have any question leave me a comment below. First we go on Google and search visa bulletin. Go to the first website that shows up as, as we can see the last month that is available is the month of June. Click on June and all of this that shows up with the letter F we are not interested at all because it is for green cards for family. We will go straight away to green cards for employment, which are those two charts here which say employment based. Chart A is what you have to be aware when your EV free process is consular, that means where you are not in the US. And then chart B is only for adjustment of status, people who is already in the US. But to be honest, the USCIS determines each month which chart they will have to use for adjustment of status. As you can see here in the web, the month of June, people who are doing adjustment of status have to look at chart B. Going back to the chart A, which is the main chart, we will go here and we have to check other workers. And we see that the first date that shows up is January 2020. 
It means that this time they are just giving appointments for the final interview only for EV3 cases with priority day of January 2020 or earlier. And unfortunately, for people who born in China or India, the dates are 2012 and 2015, which means that those people have to wait many years before they can get the green card through the EV3 and skill visa, which is why many agencies don't work with people born in those countries. Countries. and personally I feel very sorry for these people. I think they should look for another type of visa as there are many talents in these countries and maybe the EV1 visa is one of the best options for them. But Kevin, does it mean that if I start in my process right now I have to wait for three years and a half to be able to go to the US? No. This was a special case because of the pandemic. There is a prediction that in October, when the fiscal year starts, the visa bulletin will move to at least 2021, which will make the process in time to last two years and maybe when the visa bulletin becomes current, the whole EV3 visa process will go back to last one year or maybe one year and a half as it was before the pandemic. And if you haven't seen my video about the best sponsor at this moment for the EV free and skill visa process that's paid you $20 per hour, then click here now.